Hmm. Howdy folks, how you all doing today? Happy Sunday, happy two days after Christmas, happy whatever day it is for you that you're watching this. Uh, just want to talk about something interesting today because it happened, it happened this morning and then comparing it to yesterday, it's completely different. So how many times has this happened to you where like you don't sleep well, but then you do sleep well some, some nights, but here's the interesting thing. So my, my whole sleep pattern is very bizarre because there are nights that I fall asleep and I get, you know, a decent amount of sleep and then it's, I feel miserable. It's like I didn't sleep at all. It's like I woke up and it's like I just didn't, didn't even sleep. Then other times, like this morning, I felt amazing. It, it felt incredible. So let me tell you the difference here. Okay. So. Saturday morning when I when I woke up you know I don't remember what time exactly that I went went to sleep but when I woke up it just like I just didn't want to get out of bed I just felt so tired so drained so exhausted it felt like I didn't sleep at all despite the fact that I was asleep all night from what I remember it's not like I woke up and was tossing and turning a bunch it was I was asleep you know I I fell asleep and I passed out and I was that was it but here's what I can tell is different when I wake up on those bad sleeping days. She usually went off toss and turn around a lot. I can tell because like I wear a cap for like my hair and that'll be gone. That'll be missing. Um, you know, and I've, I've switched positions multiple times, just kind of all over the place. And my mind is like going like, like really fast. It is almost like you have a really active mind and you can't be mindful it's like your your thoughts are just flowing like like crazy and i wake up and that's kind of how it is and physically i don't feel too good because i have a difficult i have a hard time breathing it's like there's like a massive amount of congestion in my chest and it just it's hard to breathe which makes you more tired because you're not getting enough oxygen okay so that's how i feel on the bad days now mind you let's just say i get you know, the standard is eight hours of sleep. Okay, let's just say I get eight hours of sleep on that day and I feel miserable. I feel terrible because I don't, I don't want to get a bit. This morning, I got far less sleep. I got, you know, probably, I don't know, but it was under six hours for sure of sleep. And here's the difference. I woke up before my alarm went off. I, my hat was still on because I wasn't tossing and turning a bunch. I actually remembered a dream when I woke up and I felt rested when I woke up. When I, when I woke up, I felt like I did not need to go back to sleep. I was able to breathe just fine. I felt good. My mind was calm and, and at peace. Huge difference and I got far less sleep you know, a few hours. It was probably a little more than two hours less, but I just felt so much better. It, it's just bizarre. And then I guess that I remember some of the dream, whereas normally my mind's like so active, it, it felt like before it would like, it was just going and going and going and going. And it also felt like before, like I, I just ran like a marathon. Like I just like, I just like ran around the block a few times and I feel like exhausted physically. Whereas today I woke up and I'm like, Wow, I feel great. You know, I had a good night's sleep. Now, the only dream that I remember is something to do with Sal from Impractical Jokers. It was just really weird. And he was like dating someone or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. I remembered it at the time and I was like, I should write this down. But then I never wrote it down, um, unfortunately. So, yeah. Oh, well. But, yeah, it's just, it's just so bizarre how I got less sleep. And I don't really know what determines it. I don't know how, why some nights I feel perfectly fine, other nights I don't. You know, it doesn't make sense. I really do not know. Even when I limit, you know, the tech technology before I go to bed, that doesn't seem to matter. There have been times that I've used like my computer or my phone right up to the point where I'm about to go to bed and I've woken up just fine the next day. And then there are times that I've limited my you know, phone or, or, or computer for a bit. And I, and I lay there and I go to sleep and I wake up feeling miserable. I don't know. I have no idea what, what causes this. It's just so bizarre. 
but it doesn't seem to really correlate with anything and I can't figure out exactly why because ideally I would just like to you know wake up feeling great every every single day but that's just not how it is every single day unfortunately unfortunately that's just not how it is but um oh well oh well what are we gonna do I don't know I don't know so I'm just curious if you have the same sort of any sort of issues there or how you have re remedied them because as I said I've tried multiple things I don't know what works I don't know what doesn't work I don't know <laughs> I don't know why my body acts that way certain times other times it doesn't I don't know is it's I really do not know I don't have a clue hmm. but it always feels nice when you have a good night's sleep and you wake up feeling refreshed like ah I just remember that in Practical Joker's Sal dream ah. and then you're just like you wake up before your alarm and you just feel great like ah I'm ready to get up at get up out of bed now I don't know anyway you all take care have a great one and I'll catch you later bye bye